Good morning, I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and it's time for another little catch up. Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing okay. We are currently uh, enjoying a lazy Saturday morning. Um, I've got Andrew and Charlie here and we're watching the senior snooker on red button um, while we chill out. Uh, this afternoon I'm hoping to go out to the pub with for drinks and nibbles with um, my fellow volunteers. Uh, f f during the coronavirus we formed a group to support ice uh, isolate people in isolation and the elderly and now the pubs are open and things are relaxing a little bit um, we can have a little get together so that'll be nice this afternoon but I haven't really come on to talk about that I've come on while Andrew's here to look after Charlie and keep him distracted to have a little bit of a catch-up because I, I feel like I've done a few live videos live weigh-ins a few recipes but we haven't had a chatty vlog for a while um, so I've been back at group now for two weeks. I will try and come try and come back to the subject of returning to group in a in a in a few minutes. I just want to talk about my um, maintenance journey. Now I am struggling at the moment. I feel like I'm a, a little bit out of control. Um, I'm I'm creeping a little bit higher than I'd like to be. So when I went to group on the 20th of August, which was Thursday, I gained two and a half pounds and I now weigh 11 stone 11. And that's a total weight loss of 14 stone 10 pounds. Now, you know me, I do like to keep it um, at the 15 stone loss mark or more if I'm to get back to my original target. Um, but at the moment, we're not shooting for my original target. We're shooting for around being around 11 stone 7 uh, at first and then if I can get any lower that's great but I think due to um, the pandemic due to um, family issues that I've talked about before um, and generally due to that loss of um, not motivation but when you're in, on the maintenance journey, you, you lose some of your drive um, and it's not as easy to, to get the pounds off. Um, I'm not talking about um, getting any lower than I, um, than, I, than I have been. I just want to lose these few pounds that I've gained probably since Christmas. So I know I, ha I, do, I have had a, p a few people messaging me saying you don't need to lose any weight, you look great, blah, blah, blah. And I agree. Um, I agree that I don't need to um, lose any weight overall. I'd just like to lose a few little pounds just to get back into my comfort zone, if that makes sense at all. Um, I can feel it on my stomach. These extra seven to seven to ten pounds that I can't seem to get rid of since uh, Christmas twenty nineteen. No, yeah, Christmas twenty nineteen. Uh, I I see. I seem to have sort of really really struggled since then, and it's it's the urges that I'm struggling with. So it is not that Slimming World is not working. It is that I am not working the plan. Um, there are days that I stick to it that I'm successful, um, there are weeks that I lose and there are weeks that I gain, which is fine on a maintenance journey, but it is just, just creeping up my weight a little bit higher than I'd like now. Um, so I'd like to regain my control. Um, there's been th things such like... Um, buying brownies from Instagram, um, having treats on way day, uh, and it's fine to have a treat now and again, but the prob my problem or issue is that I can't stop at one. One biscuit, one donut, one brownie, it, it often leads <coughs> to more. And then that usually leads to a gain that week. And my pattern has been lately, 
lose one week, gain the next. Because I see again, because I've had a couple of things that week that have been outside my food plan. Uh, and then I get back on plan, I have a really good week, lose a few pounds, and I'm back down again. But I'm not getting into that pattern where I'm either losing or maintaining for more than one week. So yeah, that's what I'd like to try and do is regain my control over food and over my mind and eating over any situation such as my dad being poorly or the whole nation being in a, in a pandemic doesn't help. Eating doesn't solve the problem. It just makes you feel better for that short amount of time um, that you're eating and then you feel even worse uh, either when you when you're going to bed in the night bed that night and you're reflecting back over the day or then when you're having to go and face the scales and in my situation I'm then sharing my journey on YouTube and Instagram and being being totally honest uh, and sometimes it's hard sometimes it's really really hard um, to share the weeks when I've had a gain because I know that people are saying uh, or some people are thinking, well, Slimming World's not working anymore. But I want to be really honest and say, it's not Slimming World that's not working. It's it's me that's not working the plan. And that's why I'm not getting back into target range or even back to, on my way back to target. So to talk about, to change the subject a little bit and we'll, we'll come back to maybe some solutions or maybe some plans towards the end of the video <coughs> but uh, I do just want to give a little update about my dad he has now been discharged from hospital uh, with carers four times a day um, he's been at home since Wednesday and he's having a lot of help uh, and he's got some friends around him and he has actually apparently stayed in the flat for a few days um, so that's a positive improvement rather than wanting to, to get out um, out and about on his outings again. Um, so hopefully, you know, he'll continue to take, take, take the time he needs to recover and get his strength and mobility back. He has borrowed a walker from one of his friends. And he's apparently practicing his walking in the corridors of the um, place that he lives. So that's um, that's positive. And I'm planning to go down and see him tomorrow, take him out for a haircut, <coughs> so he can get a little bit tidied up. Um, he is going to church as well, getting a lift to and from church. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, he's had a little bit of time to, to reflect on things while he's been in hospital. He still does want to be out and about. He still does want to visit his friends and go to church and, and hopefully regain some of the things that have been lost during his illnesses and during the pandemic. So I'm hopeful. And then turning to the experience of going back to group, because I know a couple of people asked me what it was like. Some people haven't yet gone back to group or they're not starting until September. <coughs> you will have to um, book your session in with your consultant um, so that they know what time they're coming. Depending on, on the venue, your numbers for that particular time will probably be limited to 20 to 30 and there are special arrangements for new members so please do go on the site go on the slimming world site uh, look up the contact numbers for the particular consultant and get in touch with them to find out the arrangements for new members and to book your book your time slot um <coughs> <coughs> masks are required to be worn um, on in the queues, in the queue for weighing. Um, you will be asked to insert your own weighing card um, in the machines for both um, the pay desk and the weigh desk. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, there's no interest table and at my group there's no shop at the minute. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going to be happening with the recipe books and bars, but each group might be slightly different. You will have to wear uh, shoes or flip-flops to weigh in. Please again check because I have heard that some groups are allowing flip-flops and some aren't. Some are requiring more closed shoes. <clears throat> My shoes weighed half a pound and, and let's be honest, <clears throat> if you're worrying about how much your shoes will weigh on the scales, you're not paying enough attention to the plan. Um, that's that's my opinion anyway. You need to be more focused on uh, planning your meals, counting out your sins, weighing and measuring things. And at the end of the day, that little half pound or so for your shoes won't matter. Um So when you're in your group of 20 to 30, you'll, you'll, the seats will be one metre plus apart. And once you're sat down, if you wish to, you can remove your mask. They are keeping, well, my consultant anyway, is keeping the groups quite short. Um, once you've weighed in, you're probably going to be sat there for 20 to 30 minutes maximum. <coughs> Just listening to the um, image therapy. But I found it a really positive experience, even though I'm still not not quite there on my uh, food eating and things. I'm still finding it a really positive outing. And we were given this back together in group booklet last week and this week. And from lockdown to slim down, comeback meal plans, body magic. So you get four weeks of journals, similar to um, what we've been given before. <coughs> four weeks of meal plans and reflection pages. So that's a really good tool if you wish to use that. So I am looking forward to my little outing this afternoon. I am hoping that I can keep some kind of control and not eat or drink too many calories or sins. Um, I have got an evening meal planned um, back at home um, <clears throat> and as Andrew says to me, it's about the get together, coming together to chat. It's not, it shouldn't be centred on the food and drink so that's what I've got to think about. I've just got to go and enjoy the experience. So what is my plan for this week <coughs> or my aim? I would like to regain control of my eating, of my mind. Now, I could say, well, let's meal plan. Let's um, do a food diary. But that is, for me, that's making it into a chore. For me, all I know what I need to do or what I would like to do is fall back into my normal eating plan. My normal way of eating is following the Slimming World plan um, having an apple instead of a biscuit when I need to and uh, using my sins on things that I enjoy and trying to keep it to those sins. Uh, so no particular plan or, or um, way forward, just trying to keep, keep things normal, keep things easy. Um, I've put <coughs> I've put some um, things on my order for next week. So we've got at Morrison's at the moment, there's lots of offers on meat. So three for £10 on meat and poultry and three for £10 on fish. So I've put some, um, I've put a full chicken on, a gammon and the 5% fat burgers. And for the fish, I've put two lots of salmon on and some cod fillets. So that will give me some really good variety. I am loving <coughs> fish, chips and mushy peas at the minute. Now, I know there's no speed in that meal unless you add um, carrot chips. But I can tell you something. Just baking the cod in the microwave, in the oven, sorry, Active fry chips and um, 
bit of mushy peas with a bit of tomato sauce for sins absolutely delicious that's been a, that was a favorite meal of mine over the last couple of days did you enjoy them fish and chips that we had last, last week yeah the homemade ones yeah always do nice yeah nice meal um oh, so yeah. th that's something that we've really enjoyed um and we do really love the 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 whole chicken that comes on the morrison's three for ten pound order we usually make that again um sweden carrot mash roast potatoes <coughs> broccoli or cabbage um have i already said oxo roast potatoes and the schwartz chicken gravy which i believe is four or four and a half cents for the whole packet so some really nice meals coming up um food food that i generally eat is is the same week to week so i don't do as many food diaries as i have done in the past but i may i may pop on over the next few days and do a little food diary or two probably not tomorrow because as i say i'm going to see my dad um i'll be taking some kind of packed lunch or um if he seems fit enough uh we may call into a um a pub that serves jacket potatoes um but i think you do have to book these days um so that might not be possible but i know there's a subway near my dad's house as well so in an emergency i can get a subway so i think that's it for now um if you do have any questions suggestions or you just like to leave a supportive comment then i'd be really really grateful also i'm very near the 8000 subscribers mark so if you're not already subscribed do click click the subscribe and also click the bell for notifications of future videos i may not be on quite as often as i have been in the past but i will try and come on and do little updates now and again little recipe videos and you never know the occasional live video so thank you very much for watching please do like comment and subscribe I hope you're all keeping well, staying safe and enjoying any family time. Uh, let me know what you're doing this weekend. Again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon.